In the ever-changing world of Salesforce and enterprise technology, product capabilities evolve and adapt. And in the case of Salesforce's product portfolio, so do their names. So why do Salesforce product names change? Sometimes it's just about making product names easily understandable, ensuring that new customers can understand the vast Salesforce product suite. It could also be to reinvent or reimagine a current product. So let's dive into the 12 Salesforce product name changes you need to understand in 2024. Of course, number one on the list has to be Data Cloud, which in the words of Salesforce is their fastest growing product ever. But there's another reason we're putting Data Cloud first, because it's evolved so rapidly as a product that the name has actually changed five times in a handful of years. As a quick refresher, Data Cloud is a CDP or customer data platform. It allows you to pull in customer data from all kinds of different sources to build an even more complete profile of your customers. You can then use Salesforce automation to create hyper-personalized experiences for your customers. CDP started life in 2020 as customer 360 audiences. It has then changed to Salesforce CDP to align with the wider market. In 2022, CDP received a new name as part of the simplification of how Salesforce named their marketing products. It was called Marketing Cloud Customer Data Platform. Then at Salesforce the very same year, Genie was born. It signified a shift in the use cases, broadening beyond marketing to sales, service, and more. Then in 2023, Salesforce dropped the name in favor of the current title, Data Cloud, but thankfully kept the cute mascot. If you thought the renaming of Data Cloud was a roller coaster, well, welcome to the world of CRM Analytics. CRM Analytics is Salesforce's business intelligence solution that is native to the Salesforce platform, unlike Tableau, which is off-platform. CRM Analytics started life as a company called EdgeSpring, which was acquired in 2013 by Salesforce. At Dreamforce the following year, Salesforce announced Wave and the Analytics Cloud. Analytics Cloud was the Salesforce product and Wave was the platform the cloud was built on, much like Sales Cloud and force.com or the Salesforce platform as it's called now. As Salesforce pushed into AI in the next few years with Einstein, it made sense to adopt this name as predictive AI capabilities were incorporated. So Einstein Analytics was born. Following the mega acquisitions of Tableau in 2019, Salesforce aligned Einstein Analytics with their new purchase and renamed it Tableau CRM. But perhaps due to customers confusing Tableau CRM with Tableau, Salesforce have stuck with CRM Analytics since 2022. Now we have some of the more crazy name changes out the way, we can enter the quick fire zone. Next up, we have Salesforce Industries, which is their pre-built industry solution templates. Industries started life as Velocity, which was an important Salesforce ISV and partner that helped Salesforce sell into verticals such as telecoms and manufacturing. This was a natural acquisition for Salesforce, who then renamed it Salesforce Industries or Industries Cloud. This is a classic example of renaming a product to simplify the understanding. When Salesforce announces something new and very innovative, the name has the potential to be changed even over a matter of months. On this occasion, the relaunch name change was to emphasize the fact that this platform is not only focused on generative AI tools, but goes broader to encompass the data cloud as the foundation. Einstein GPT was announced at Trailblazer DX 2023 and was in line with the huge wave of generative AI products being announced in the tech industry. Salesforce rebranded Einstein GPT to the Einstein One platform at Dream Force 2023, which also included Copilot. Prompt Builder was another one that was announced and had its name tweaked within a few months. Here we can see some reasoning. Originally called Prompt Studio, it enables admins to create prompt templates, choose how they want to ground the prompts in Salesforce data and activate them for users quickly and easily. With Prompt Builder, the name change, we assume, was to stay aligned with the other two parts that make up the other parts of Copilot Studio, Model Builder and Skills Builder. Now we have perhaps one of the more controversial name changes. Account engagement started life as the beloved B2B marketing automation tool, Pardot. Pardot was acquired by Exact Target back in 2012 for 95 million, which Salesforce subsequently acquired a year later for 2.5 billion in the form of Exact Target. Just like Salesforce, Pardot has a strong community of advocates. And when Salesforce announced the name change to account engagement in 2022, people were not happy. But as we've seen from previous name changes, Salesforce wants to ensure that their products are as easily understandable as possible. 
Alongside Pardot, Salesforce renamed a number of their marketing cloud offerings in April 2022, which did cause quite a stir. Personalization, formerly Interaction Studio, is Salesforce's real-time personalization and interaction management solution. It was acquired as a product called Evergage in early 2020. It was around this time that Salesforce integrated Evergage into their technology stack, paving the way for a modern and powerful Interaction Studio. But before this, Interaction Studio was actually integrated with a company called Thunderhead, which was officially retired on March the 1st, 2023, due to the acquisition and integration of Evercage. Fast forward to 2022, and alongside Parler and many other name changes, Interaction Studio is renamed to Marketing Cloud Personalization. Another name change that was made in the world of marketing cloud was Datarama. Datarama is a SaaS data platform used to integrate many different sources of information from social, search, and advert service, and then display using a series of dashboards. Datarama was initially acquired in 2018 for a cool 800 million. It took the place of the analytics builder reports that previously existed in marketing cloud. Fast forward to 2022, the name was changed to Marketing Cloud Intelligence. To finish up all these marketing cloud changes, Advertising Studio was renamed to Marketing Cloud Advertising and allows you to advertise on various platforms such as Facebook and Google Ads from the Marketing Cloud platform. Next up, we have the Quip platform. Quip was acquired in 2017 and could be compared to Google Docs as a collaboration slash productivity tool that also could be integrated with Salesforce. Quip was also the product that brought ex-co-CEO Brett Taylor to the ranks of Salesforce. Quip was kind of renamed to Salesforce Anywhere during the pandemic, but this name was pretty quickly phased out. Currently, whilst Quip still exists as a standalone product, Salesforce is reimagining Quip as canvases, which is essentially Quip embedded within the Slack interface. An interesting product that has had the spotlight in recent years is Cool Coaching Software. This allows sales managers to analyze transcripts and performance of sales users by looking at their calls, as well as service managers and customer support. Salesforce developed Einstein Cool Coaching out of an acquisition of Bonobo AI in 2019. It was then renamed to Einstein Conversational Insights and included it as a standalone product and also as part of Sales Cloud Unlimited. Another product category that has had increasing popularity are cadence tools to allow sales users to automatically send emails and follow a set path when following up with leads. Salesforce called this product High Velocity Sales, but renamed it to Sales Engagement in 2022 as part of their broader renaming strategy. And there you have it, 12 of the most important Salesforce name changes you need to be aware about in 2024. We just pray that Salesforce doesn't get the itch again and start on another naming spree.